Good morning, folks. Merry Christmas. We have continued to see jet activity at the Northern Sunspot Group. We'll take a closer look at that. We'll also see two excellent papers on how Earth's magnetic field will impact the biosphere as it's in an ongoing excursion, the current magnetic pole shift. We're also going to see one of the expected weather manifestations with this ongoing blizzard, but we're starting with our star and we find that C-class flares have continued, but also continued to somehow avoid sending plasma our way. The solar wind from the coronal hole stream is beginning to wane back along with geomagnetic disturbance, another coronal hole up north there the dark patch. In terms of the production of CMEs, the northern active region has stolen the show. In addition to plasma filaments releasing, the leading sunspot has ejected several plasma jets, but has done so out to the right, ahead of Earth's orbit by a good way. We will continue monitoring all the sunspot groups as they cross the Earth-facing half of the sun. In addition to the cold records we watched fall over the last couple days, the more key metric for observers to notice is the record drops in temperature. It is this extreme swing that veteran observers will remember. It's a key signature of the weakening magnetic field. We expect heat, cold, drought, and flood, and extreme shifts between them, much more extreme than in the past. This was the cold version. Up next, let's go to a paper expanding the range of geomagnetic use by tiny creatures. It's not just birds, turtles, whales, and other mammals, but several insect species, plants, microbes, and more across the food chain, high and low. When the magnetic field changes to a greater degree, it will be a triple whammy on these creatures. Extreme weather shifts, increased radiation, and navigational struggles, as is the focus of this paper. And on one of those points, an outstanding one here on the 12,000 year cycle and 6,000 year half cycle events, 48 and 42,000 years ago. Not only do they expressly state that changes in Earth's magnetic field like those ongoing now will have titanic impacts on the environment, but it's been a while since we've seen the mainstream journals hit both the 48,000 and 42,000 years ago events in the same analysis. We are 12,000 years from the last magnetic excursion, 6,000 years from the last half cycle event, and we're getting ready to see them reset now. Don't forget, come out to our Cheyenne event on January 7th. We're kicking off the new year with our first stop in Wyoming since 2014. Get tickets below the video and also check out the Earth Disaster Playlist to learn more about these 6,000 and 12,000 year events, especially, as we mentioned, since they are both resetting right now. Also, if you didn't catch yesterday's videos, you do not want to miss the top story in the journal, so check those out as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.